If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. Small forward includes secondary position and then scroll through to find the top 10 best small forwards in NBA 2K22. My team's freak excited the like button down below. And let's get it started with the guy number 7 or 10. Or no, not 10. These aren't rank <laughs> ranked. I forgot how my own tier list work in. Galaxy level Danny Ferry. Either way, uh, Danny Ferry is in here, six foot ten, seven foot five wingspan, and he's here because he's just an absolute menace. I mean, the guy has looked at all these beautiful Hall of Fame badges, has pretty solid defense, especially rim protector with that seven foot five wingspan. Absolutely beautiful. Out of our man Danny Ferry right there. Our uh, playmaking is also gonna be pretty solid, and we're talking about a guy with jump shot 98 on very quick, which is why he kind of got the nod over somebody like AK, just because AK only has it on quick. Obviously, I, I gotta put the guy with very quick with the guy with quick uh wiggins on the back is obviously not absolutely amazing but quick dribble style is great the lucas size up is actually super solid long athlete and a guy with a seven foot five wingspan is also damn amazing uh so i think all around super solid card definitely be some fun and uh, more people need to be giving him a little bit of love because he's actually gonna be a pretty good card next Giannis. i mean did you really think there was going to be a top 10 small forward or power forwards list uh that wasn't going to include our man right here Giannis, especially the uh invincible the card is just absolutely insane 611 some for more wingspan and just look at the guard man we're talking about Giannis with a 99 speed like that just it shouldn't be allowed honestly he also has hall of fame sniper again shouldn't be allowed every single defensive badge he has the Giannis jumper on very quick the shifty dribble style the curry behind the back which is kind of fun uh long at the layer package as well i mean it's all around i mean it's a Giannis card with a 99 speed i mean how much really better could he get um all around super fun all around actually pretty great and can actually be a super fun card for most people um now i know that he's not like um cheap but and that's not what this list is about Giannis, um absolutely insane super good card that uh more people at least uh need to stop using because uh it's getting annoying seeing in every game uh next we got zion williamson and obviously boom after that evo six foot seven six ten wingspan obviously he's a little bit undersized it's not like i guess ideal to be running the uh the uh, small forward position with that but i mean this Giannis, once you evo him up has jump shot three on very quick has that quick uh dribble style and then also basically um is like a uh, john wall out there which is just beautiful especially when it comes to his dribbling i think uh not enough people are giving credit to how great uh this zion is anymore because he's just like very very slightly outdated like i really don't get it that guy's crazy good um and he's got the scotty behind the back he's got long athlete and really it's just the fact that jump shot three on very quick is probably just one of the most unguardable jumpers in the game then you mix that with the fact that i swear to god the zion is the best dunker and rebounder in the entire game like there's just is not a way um really to stop him from getting whatever board or dunk he wants uh which just makes him insane next kevin durant again did you really think there was going to be a top 10 list and then kevin durant wasn't going to be on it six nine seven foot four wingspan he's got the kd jumper on very quick shifty dribble style kd size up a combo kd escape lebron cross and the scotty behind the back i mean let's be honest this is a very very good kevin durant card there was always going to be uh the chance that he's going to pop up on here he's got the long at the layup package as well he actually has a pretty solid defense i would add a brick wall and stuff like that just in case you're planning on using him as a power forward but he's got great finishing great shooting kd is always just a card that maybe feels better dribbling than he maybe should because i'm gonna be honest it's just a really damn good uh jumper and just he moves so well for a six foot nine guy uh being 100 percent honest with you he's just all around uh really good as uh kd cards essentially always are next fernando martin a card that i think took us all by surprise when uh, he got announced as even dropping let alone coming out and being one of the best cards in the game six nine small forward seven foot one wingspan and granted he's not the most amazing of shooters but he has basically every single hall of fame badge um in the defensive side almost every single finishing one as well he's got the rudy gay jumper on very quick which is so money if you've used rj or rudy you know scotty behind the back trey escape package trey combo steve francis signature size up which is just absolutely beautiful um and honestly just gross i mean it, it's seriously so good and uh even the rudy gay freak though it has basically some of the best defense some of the best playmaking some of the best finishing in the game and then you mix that with just an absolutely money jumper that basically anybody's gonna like and you got yourself a pretty damn good card next jonathan kuminga if we had invincible Giannis on this list 
Then I had to put Kuminga on there. Six foot eight, seven foot one wingspan. Giannis Schemper on very quick at the at least 100 release timing. He's the only player with that upper. Uh, quick dribble style, penny size up, which is super good. The Baron Davis combo is also nice. Luka escape pretty good. Jordan Cross is actually disgusting. And we have that uh, Scotty behind the back. He has long athlete. And honestly, he's a lot better defender. This Dark Matter doesn't get his angles broken like this Pink Diamond does. I don't know why, but my Pink Diamond just always is getting absolutely snapped every time he's on a court. Uh, please let me know if yours is also doing that. I swear to God, my Jonathan Kamiga cannot stand up straight. Uh, but you mix that 96 speed, 92 interior, 95 perimeter, great dunking, great shooting, great playmaking, and more Hall of Fame badges um, than Fernando Martin in the defensive category. You got yourself a pretty damn good all-around small forward, especially at 6'8". It's just basically a mini Giannis. Next... Hito Turkoglu. He's beautiful. 6'10, 6'11 wingspan. And let me tell you, jump shot 11 on very quick, a jump shot 111 on very quick is amazing. Absolutely love the jumper. I think it's actually disgustingly good. Has that quick dribble style. And again, that penny size up is gross. Mix that with long athlete and some pretty good finishing. And you have yourself just an absolutely beautiful card. Hito is just one of those guys who is basically a 6'10 uh, shot creator. Dude just gets out there chucks a bunch of threes has a normal leaner as well so he's getting open insanely well has basically all of the hall of fame and shooting play playmaking badge you can possibly want it's still gonna be a great defender and uh, this is definitely a little bit biased because i always love hito circle blue cards uh but this guy is just absolutely insane it gives you everything that you could possibly need out there on the court and is six foot ten as a small forward it really does not get too much better uh, than a Zito Turkoglu, at least in my opinion, um, absolutely amazing. Though, if you have, if you plan on using the Zito for a long time, which I don't know why you want it, you could uh, add some Hall of Fame finishing badges to really help him out because he is lacking just a little bit uh, right there. Next, Bobby Jones, who I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm still the, I still think may be the best small forward in the game. Six nine wingspan and height and is the best defender in the entire game. 97 perimeter and interior defense, 98 steal and a block, every single defensive badge, Hall of Fame, then has downhill handles today's end quick first step, also catch and shoot, gold sniper, great finishing, has the Delino Gallinari jumper on very quick, which may be one of the best catch and shoot jumpers I have used in my life. I mean, the thing just never seems to be in a bad, like, um, position like you just I don't know it's just with glue hands it just feels like you can get any shot off stupid quick there's no real load up there's no real like um, just bad animations but it's just so good uh, it has a long athlete layup package as well Kemba combo Kemba escape and the uh, sadly the uh, Kyrie behind the back which I don't love but great defensive tendencies really between some of the best small or the best defensive small forward in the game right now it's between like him and Giannis because these guys are just so good he's just different on the defensive end absolutely love him I'm not exactly too sure what's his price going for right now, but highly recommend him if you can afford him because the dude is just great. Or if you got him free, keep using him. Next, Jonathan Isaac. I mean, you kind of had to expect him at some point on this list, and I even debated putting Tobias Harris on this list as well after using him yesterday. I mean, the guy is crazy. 6'11", 7'2", wingspan though for this Jonathan Isaac, and uh, he is crazy. Jump shot 70 on very quick with the 80 upper, which is actually really nice. Uh, quick dribble style, and uh, I, I swear to God, quick with the normal size of it. Stupid good. Even shifty with the normal size. I actually like the normal size. I think it gives you a lot of space and really bursts out of it well. Uh, Gun dip him out in the back. Long athlete and obviously some fancy dunking, so please push up on the right stick if you're attacking the basket with this Isaac. Obviously has great defensive tendencies and is going to be a lockdown defender and actually a really good shooter and finisher as well. And even can dribble a bit too, which is kind of crazy. Hall of Fame hyperdrive. All around, this Jonathan Isaac is just a damn good small forward. Can literally do everything you need. And at 6'11", he is not going to be undersized whatsoever uh, playing that small forward position. And with that 7'2 wingspan and a 97 block with uh, also... What is it? Hall of Fame rim protector? You're going to be getting so many blocks on even smaller guys. Um, like even like LeBron James, who is coincidentally getting up next, um, that just works so much better. And last but not least is going to be that invincible LeBron James. I mean, again, if there's uh, even a semi-decent LeBron James, he almost always in the top 10. I think he's actually the only card to drop that has every single badge, at least gold. And he has every single finishing badge Hall of Fame, every single defensive badge Hall of Fame. For some reason, didn't get every single playmaking badge Hall of Fame, even though I thought... I'll be honest, I think he should have. Um, and it has obviously 99 speeds, 99s across the board in defense, 99 in both dunking, 98 in the three-point shot, crazy good playmaking, has great defensive tendencies, and the LeBron James jumper on very quick. Now, this is obviously a jumper that either love it or you hate it. I personally think that LeBron's jumper is pretty good this year, and I think uh, not as many people are really uh, giving LeBron, I guess, not necessarily the credit that he deserves, but like just hating on him a little bit too much um this year because i actually think he's like stupid good 
and uh, people just don't really recognize it. And then they also decided to get rid of his bad like LeBron layup package and dribble style and gave him the quick dribble style with the LeBron uh, size up, the Lillard combo, which is actually really good as well, and the uh, Kawhi behind the back, which is pretty solid, long at the layup package, and uh, a go-to dunk LeBron James, which is still a little bit too fancy, so be careful. But I mean, you all kind of know what LeBron is basically the jack of all trades kind of card where you can put him anywhere and he's going to be good at it. And obviously, that's no different this year. And I just love the fact they gave him that quick dribble style. He feels stupid good now. Um, all their on great cards. So uh, let me know what you think about my personal top 10 list down in the comment section below, as well as your favorite small forward in 2K22, my team. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know what you think about my list and all that wonderful stuff. And hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. We are very close to uh, 12.4K, I think. So hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MIT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E-X-C-A-P-A-R, for 5% off your entire purchase.